how are you all? Welcome to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, all unique bows and staves of Skyrim. In this video, there will not be any quest items included, because once you hand a quest item in, it is no longer yours. I will not be showing you the locations of any of these items. There are plenty of excellent videos already on YouTube from other YouTubers showing you the locations of these items. Also, this video shouldn't be any longer than it needs to be. And it needs to be very long. Some of these unique weapons do have multiples, as in there are more than one of them, but they are unique in the nature that they only come from one location or special dungeon or quest. All of these weapons will be done in category. I'll have the category times in the description. So if you want to skip to a particular category, you can check the description. The weapons that you're going to see here are from the original Skyrim and all three expansions and their weapons are included in this video. Also, any enchantments on these weapons will vary in level. So the stats of a particular enchantment that you see on a weapon in this video will not necessarily reflect the enchantment of the weapon on your character. It'll all depend on the level of your character. I'd also like to apologize for the gap in videos, but this took a very, very long time to acquire all of these unique weapons. Next we have the unique bows of Skyrim. First up we have Angie's Bow. Now Angie's Bow has a base damage of 7 and no enchantment. It's quite a plain bow, not very effective or powerful. Next we have Ariel's Bow. Now this is quite powerful. It has a base damage of 13 and as you can see it has a very cool unique skin there. Very cool looking bow. The enchantment 20 points of sun damage. Undead targets take triple damage. That is very powerful especially if you're fighting undead. Triple damage that's 60 points of sun damage. Super powerful against vampires. Next we have Bow of the Hunt. Now this has a base damage of 10 and as you can see the, the skin isn't particularly interesting. Again just that standard kind of wooden uh, hunter's bow. And the enchantment, animals take 20 points of extra damage. This could be very useful if hunting deer or other animals for hide to increase your blacksmithing skill. Next we have the drain spell bow. Now this has a base damage of 14. That is actually quite a powerful bow. Very cool skin, the unique ghostly spectral kind of skin. Very cool looking bow. And the enchantment absorbs 15 points of magicka. This can be very useful when fighting uh, wizards or mages or that sort of enemy that uses magicka. Next we have the Dwarven Black Bow of Fate with a base damage of 13. Very cool looking bow. I think that's the same skin as a Dwarven Bow but of course black. Very cool. It's unique in the fact that it's black. 50% chance for each attribute to absorb 25 points of health, stamina and or magicka. Now that is a very, very powerful enchantment. As I always say, the absorption enchantments are the best but that is a very powerful, powerful bow considering you'll be shooting more than one arrow most likely into an enemy during a fight that is very powerful. Next we have a bow called Ferenial's End. Now Ferenial's End has a base damage of 13. As we can see the enchantment target takes 20 points of frost damage to health and stamina. Now this that's quite a powerful enchantment actually. It has the same skin as an elven bow. It looks a little bit paler but I think that's due to the frost enchantment on it. Pretty cool weapon though. <clears throat> Next we have a bow called Froki's Bow. Now, this is quite weak. It has a base damage of 6. I think that's the weakest base damage of any unique bow in Skyrim. And the enchantment does 10 points of stamina damage. That is useful, but it's not particularly powerful. That is possibly the blandest bow I have ever seen. Next up, we have the Goldur Black Bow with a base damage of 14. As we can see there, the enchantment absorbs 20 points of magicka. That can be quite useful. The absorption, again, quite useful. Uh, this would be quite effective effective against magic casting enemies. In terms of the base damage, that's an okay base damage. Next we have Glass Bow of the Stag Prince. This has a base damage of 16, which makes it the second highest base damage of any unique bow in Skyrim. Now let's take a look at this enchantment here, it's very unique. Wielder receives an increasingly powerful blessing for every 20 animals killed by the bow. Currently, zero animals killed, so the more animals you kill for every 20 you kill, you gain more and more power to this enchantment, which has the potential to be a very powerful bow. Next we have my personal favorite bow of Skyrim is the Nightingale Bow. Now the Nightingale 
Nightingale Bow has a base damage of 19, which makes it the highest base damage of any unique bow in Skyrim. And the enchantment there freezes the target for 30 points and shocks the target for 15 points. So straight up we have 45 points of damage done by the enchantment there. And then on top of that, we have the most powerful base damage unique bow in the whole game. Very cool skin as well. That's a unique skin and it looks damn brutal. And lastly, we have Zephyr. This has a base damage of 12 and the enchantment fires 30% faster than a standard bow. This essentially makes it 30% more powerful than what the initial base damage is telling us. That's a pretty cool enchantment, but unfortunately it doesn't hold up to some of the other absolutely top end bows that we have seen. Next up, we have the unique staffs. Now we have the ethereal staff. Summons a dwarven spider or sphere for 60 seconds wherever the caster is pointing. Now this can be quite Quite useful if you get yourself into a bit of a sticky situation you can of course summon a spider or dwemer sphere to help you fight the fight next we have the dragon priest staff sprayed on the ground it creates a wall of fire that does 50 points of fire damage per second that is actually an incredibly powerful super powerful stuff this is basically a ranged aoe dragon in a stick this thing is ridiculously powerful next we have eye of melka a fiery explosion for 40 points of damage in a 15 foot radius. Targets on fire take extra damage. Quite powerful. I mean, if you hook this guy up with the Dragon Priest stuff, you have some Charmaine enemy. Very powerful stuff there. Next, we have Gadnor, Staff of Charming. This has the same enchantment that my personality does. It charms. The enchantment, creatures and people up to level 5 will attack anything nearby for 60 seconds. Well, another trait of my personality. This could be quite useful in a... This is quite useful at a low level, but I mean, you pass level 5 pretty much instantly and most enemies scale with your level, so this is rendered useless quite fast. Next up, we have Haldir's Staff. Calms less powerful opponents for 60 seconds and traps their souls should they die, and they should die. This is good for getting out of sticky situations. Yeah, I mean, you can calm everyone down, then kill them, and you have a soul trap. And that lasts for 60 seconds. That's quite a powerful soul trap effect. Next up, we have Hevnodax Staff. Sprayed on the ground, it creates a wall of lightning that does 50 points of shock damage per second. This is, again, a very powerful staff if you just want pure straight-up damage. Next, we have Midax Staff. Sprays whirling tentacles on the ground that stagger and poison foes that enter them. Very cool. It almost acts as a blockade. I mean, if you spray it on the ground between yourself and an enemy, the enemy cannot pass it with ease. They will eventually get through it, but it will stagger and poison them, so it actually does damage as well. Next, we have Sanguine Rose. Pretty cool star, very unique looking skin there, and the effect summons a Dramora for 60 seconds. Now, this can be quite useful. I mean, this will only become redundant at a very high level because a Dramora is a very powerful Daedra. So to have on to fight for you for 60 seconds is a very cool thing to have. Next, we have the Staff of Corruption. 20 points of damage increases to 50 if powered with dreams collected from sleeping people. Yes, you can harvest people's dreams. Uh, 20 points of damage, 250. 50 is quite a, a lot of damage. Spider Control Rod directs a Kantar's spider to the target. This is only useful in very, very specific situations. Next, we have Staff of Arcane Authority. Creatures and people up to level 10 flee from combat for 60 seconds. Very cool. Again, though, the fleeing is very useful, but it only works up to creatures or people level 10. That's not very high. You'll hit level 10 in the first 30 minutes to an hour of playing Skyrim, so it's rendered useless quite quickly. Next, we have Staff of Hags, Wrath. Sprayed on the ground, it creates a wall of fire that does 50 points of fire damage per second. Again, that is quite a powerful straight-up destruction styled staff. Next, we have staff of Yurik Goldason. Target takes 25 points of damage and twice as much magic damage. That is actually quite powerful, especially when you're fighting an enemy that mainly uses magicka or spells to attack you. I mean, that's 50 points of magicka damage they're taking 
taking off and you're damaging them with 25 points of damage as well. That's quite a powerful staff. Next up, we have one of my favorite staffs, the Staff of Magnus. Absorb 20 Magicka per second. If the target is out of Magicka, absorb health instead. That is very powerful. And lastly, we have Wabberjack. A lot of people's favorite, a blast from Wabberjack with an unpredictable effect. There's a lot of effects. I know if you want to look it up, feel free. I'm not particularly familiar with the effects of this staff. And there you have it, the unique bows and staffs of Skyrim. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you discovered some more items that you did not know existed within Skyrim. Be sure to check out my other Skyrim unique items videos. I would like to thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, feel free to correct me on anything. If you notice that I left out any unique items in this video, be sure to let me know. Let me know of any video ideas that you have and be sure to leave a like. I would like to thank you again very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. See you later, have a great day.